All right, I'm gonna create a wind generator using old 55 gallon oil drums and uh, I'll give you a step by step on how I'm doing it so you guys can copy it if you like the ideas and improve on them if you don't and uh, so far that's how far I've gotten I'll show you from the beginning to where I got to this step um, I started off with uh, 55 gallon oil drums um, I found center both directions this way and that way and then um, measured off of a level floor to center here and to center here and to center there to, to get this uh, line and then I used a straight edge to scribe the line all the way down and uh, I, I cut the line right there using a pretty cool tool uh, a DeWalt uh, metal shears, electric metal shears. It works pretty sweet. Um, I'll go ahead and do a demo for you here real fast. Just pilot drill a hole. I'm going to start from either end. I start from the middle. It helps. So I got a hole pre-drilled. This guy sits in here like this. Look around from the other side. It's a little difficult being, being the cameraman and the... Anyway, you get the idea. So I do that to the, the whole deal and then I sawzall cut each of the corners so that it becomes half of a can. We end up with something that looks just like this. Right? Then uh, for my bearing assembly um, I have a five a five hub um, hub I guess you would call it <laughs> a five bolt hub for an automotive or, or a trailer is what it is it's a, just a freewheel device and then um, what I did was I used some old scrap pieces of, of what they call unistrut um, you can use any material you want, but it worked good for my purpose because I was able to um, just stick the bolt right back on here. Uh, and I wanted an angle, so I stuck it, stuck the bolt on so where it was flush with the top of the nut, and then I angled it until the until the bolt touched right there. And then I, I welded it um, here, here and I welded it here, here, and then I welded the nut so it can't move. And that gave me an angle to make this tripod right here. And uh, it'll hold quite a bit of weight, I think. And uh, so yeah, that's, that's basically what I got. Um, the idea is that I have the hub assembly. I have the, uh, the disassembly bolt on top and bottom. So it's basically the part that would be the part that would be hooked to your trailer or or your device is what I'm hooking the shaft to. So the shaft is spinning and the wheel hub is stationary. Then I used Unistrut uh, since it worked really good with this with this round hub design. The Unistrut just kind of stuck right on there, and I was able to weld it on either side. Uh, I made the shaft first, and then I welded the drums to it. Uh, if you don't have a welder, you might try, I don't know, some other type of material. I've seen some people do it with like PVC and using the plastic uh, barrels. Uh, I wanted something that was going to last a little bit longer and, and able to have some inertia, some weight to it to give me uh, more momentum at lower speeds. But um, anyway, I, I welded, so it's just above the top of the, the barrels 
and then I weld it at this direction so when I put my other barrels on they will be directly opposite so it'll be here and on the other side as opposed to here and here so that you have as soon as the wind uh, catches one it doesn't have very long before it catches the other one so there's no uh, stopping point then I have uh, the wheel axle on the top also which I'm gonna put another hub on top to keep it from from going side to side keep it more balanced even though it could probably work alright like this because the wheel hubs are, are real real um, stiff. I got like a 5 ton or 10 ton or something like that, some crazy wheel hubs. And uh, anyway, you could do that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach uh, some more Unistrut or, or um, some steel and come down to uh, one of the legs here and one of the legs on the other side to create kind of a box effect to stabilize it. So that's how far I've gotten so far. and. Uh, as I get further along, I will send up the videos.